Welcome back to Piers Morgan Uncensored. Pearl Davis has racked up a legion of online followers and plenty of breathless newspaper coverage by sharing her incendiary views on modern feminism. The New York Post called her the female Andrew Tate, so she tapped into genuine female pushback to the excesses of wokery, or is she just an attention seeker? We'll find out in a moment. But first, let's take a look at the clip that sent her viral. A lot of people think I'm insane because I don't think women should vote. Everybody thinks I'm crazy for this opinion. If anything, this is probably my most extreme opinion. 90% of women have been on birth control. One out of three women has had an abortion. One out of three women has an STD. Uh, average body count is over five, so that your average wife has slept with over five people. 95% of women are not virgins on their wedding days. So I understand the complaint. OK, well, Paul joined, uh, joins me now alongside political journalist Ava Santini, who was nodding furiously along there to everything she heard. <laughs> uh, OK, look, you're talking about women predominantly, uh, which is why you've got this big following. And your view is that modern feminism is deeply flawed. I would argue a lot of your proposals, like taking the vote away from women, <laughs> are deeply regressive. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to remove, just from yourself, the right to vote? Well, um, what happened was I, I had the same view, right? Um, back when I started, I was like, why? I found out that only 5% of women wanted the right to vote. And I couldn't figure out, like, why would women not... No, it's true. It's well, true. At, you the look it up. at the time. At the time. Because they've been conditioned by men to think that they shouldn't have a vote. I, I mean, that's what they say. But, you know, I started reading their writings, right? And what I found out was that the reason a lot of women advocated for it was because they believed it was the beginning of the breakdown of the family. You know, before you became one in marriage, 85% of people were married. And, you know, I, I hate to say it, but they were right. What has happened 100 years later? Well, what's that going to do with them having the vote? Well, it also goes back to responsibility. Um, again, men are 80 to 90% of the military. They run all of the infrastructures that make society run. So I just think if we want an equal say in society, then be equal. Do 50% of the hard jobs. Be 50% of the military. In the U.S., um, they're fined $250,000 if they are not, they don't join um, selective service, which is essentially the draft. Okay, but on, on so, specifically on the mm -hmm. vote, what would having the right to vote have to do with family cohesion, for example? Well, because, again, before you weren't trying to divide a family. It was one family unit. You had one vote for the family. I mean, I, I don't think it's good for a family to have two votes. Ava? Also, <laughs> but you don't want... You want divorce to be made illegal. Yes. Why? Yes, because I don't think what we have today is really marriage. What is marriage? It's for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. That's what marriage is supposed to be. But feminists have ruined marriage for the people that actually believe in marriage. How? When there's a 50% divorce rate, and the average marriage is Why is that all down to years. the women, though? I, I, I didn't say that it was all down to the women. So why well, feminists what I, what I, you, you asked why I want divorce to be banned. Yeah. Can, I, can I finish yeah. that first? So I'm saying... You know, the people that believe in divorce, go be in long-term relationships. Leave marriage for the people that actually believe in, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Are you a feminist? <laughs> no, I am not. Really? <laughs> no, you know, I wouldn't. Don't go that far. You don't want to be a feminist? <laughs> no, because I think if feminists really believed in equality, but you guys don't, I would love for you, there is an oil rig hiring. <laughs> there is an engineer. I would actually firm love hiring. to see Ava Santino I, on no, oil rig. No, seriously, oh, seriously. Uh, there is a, a building being built next to my building. Go do it, feminists. But, Go but, do it. And me, but, I'm saying the same but, job but, that I'm get, doing right when now. When you find the man you want to get married to, are you saying you will literally, you will be with that man whatever happens the rest of your life. Yes, for, for the vows that we're supposed to live but How by. do you know you can keep them? I, I mean, look, it, I think it's a choice. And that's the thing, like, women are so willing to leave marriages because they're not happy. This is not about happiness. The most important thing is the children. And the problem is we have a modern society where it's me, 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 my feelings, leave when I feel like it, instead of doing what's best for the kids. Ava, I've got to say... It's a little bit listening to Andrew Tate, where some of it I really don't agree with. I don't agree with the vote stuff. When I hear things like that, I think there'll be a lot of people, especially older generation women, perhaps, who think, you know what, she's got a point.